Second Bible verse that doesn't mean what you were told. Philippians 2, 12. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Yet again, it's easy to see. What this leads many to believe to feel to fear. My salvation has to be worked out. It's dependent on performance. Maintaining it is something I have to have much fear about. That's what it sounds like on its own. But Paul's not saying here to work for your salvation. He says work from it. Hence the phrase work out. Work out of it. Look at the verses around it. Paul's saying, Therefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, so now, not only as in my presence, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation. In other words, Paul says, I won't always be here to spur you on. I won't always be here to encourage you in the work of the ministry and things like that. So learn to be motivated by your salvation, by what God has done in you. And sometimes that's going to be scary. But here's the promise. You have to keep reading. There's comfort in this. Paul continues, For it is God who works in you, both to will and to work for his good pleasure. So Paul takes the pressure off. He says, yes, there's a work to be done, and I won't always be here to motivate you to do it, but be motivated instead by your salvation. Sometimes that'll be scary, but know that you don't do it on your own anyway. God is going to lead you to and empower you to do whatever he wants you to do in his world. And friends, I can tell you from experience that everything Paul said there is true. I think about a time in my mid-20s. Now, I was still in my holiness police phase back then, but I can also tell you that I was still introverted enough that I didn't go beat down doors for opportunities. Kind of by default, just because of my nature, I had to wait for God to bring them to me or they weren't going to happen. So God brought me to an opportunity to join a ministry that had been very influential in my early Christian years. Problem is, it didn't make any sense on paper. I'd have to move nine hours up the road where I didn't know anyone, leave my friends, leave my job, take a pay cut, lose my benefits, and be rejected by my family and friends for a time because of it. Literally, when I told my dad what I was doing, he hung up the phone and stopped talking to me for a month. All my friends were against me. It was scary. It was probably one of the few times in my life, though, when I knew that this is absolutely what I'm supposed to do. But it was scary, filled with fear and trembling. But I worked out of my salvation and did it. Had I worked out of my flesh, I would have caved and stayed where I was. But there was this unshakable drive in me, a boldness that was in me, a promise that was in me that wasn't explainable. It was the fruit of my salvation. I didn't need any outside motivation. I didn't have it anyway. God was in me and motivating me himself. He was working through me according to his good pleasure. So while my fleshly feet shook the whole way there and my tummy turned in knots the whole way, way there, I did it. Was my salvation dependent on me doing it? No. But it did motivate me to do it. And that's what Paul is talking about here. Whatever you do, do it out of the motivation and power that comes from God in you. Work out what is worked in you, even if you have to do it afraid at times. Like the message? Examine more popular scriptures with me to determine truth from tradition in my audio series, Think Again. The series includes the following messages, the desires of your heart, drawing near to God, the perfection paradox, rethinking repentance, and Jesus versus Windex. Get all five messages today on mp3 at kylewinkler.org slash think again.